In today's wrap-up, Transparency International has released its annual Corruption Perceptions Index, in which Armenia jumped 17 places. The index ranks 180 countries on perceived corruption. Armenia, which is now at 60th place, ranked 77th in 2020. With a score of 49, Armenia went up by 15 points since 2012. In the report, Transparency International commended the strides taken in Armenia regarding anti-corruption, but also spotlighted problems such as judicial independence and a lack of checks and balances. It moreover mentioned the negative effect the pandemic and the 2020 Karabakh war could have on corruption in Armenia. Azerbaijan remained with 30 points and a rank of 129th, whilst Georgia hovered at 45th place with 56 points. Deputy Prime Minister Tigran Avinyan reported that five Armenian POWs have returned from Azerbaijan after Russian mediation. They arrived at Erebuni Airport last night. Avinyan also confirmed that 62 Armenian captives also were able to contact their families via telephone. The commander of the Russian peacekeeping force in Nagorno-Karabakh, Rustam Muradov, furthermore confirmed that one Azerbaijani captive was released by Armenia. This comes as the European External Action Service spokesman, Peter Stano, urged on behalf of the EU for Azerbaijan to release all remaining Armenian POWs. In terms of domestic politics, with the prospect of snap parliamentary elections, former president Robert Kocharyan announced his intention to take part in the election. He said this in an interview with Azadutun TV. Meanwhile, it has also been confirmed that former president Ser Sarkisyan has contracted COVID-19. He is isolating at his home. Sarkisyan's wife, Rita Sarkisyan, recently died due to complications caused by COVID-19. And in other news, Artsakh authorities have published the civilian casualty count in relation to the 2020 Karabakh war. According to the Human Rights Defender of Nagorno-Karabakh, from September 27th to January 28th, 72 civilians were killed due to hostilities in Karabakh. And Civil Net reporter Lika Zakaryan has also had an article written about her in Forbes magazine. Lika was in Artsakh throughout much of the war, whether in shelters in Stepanakert or reporting from above ground. Lika managed to find time to keep a diary. The article focuses on just that. Lika's diary entries were published on Civil Net and are available on our website. In our studio, political consultant and CivilNet host Eric Hakopian gave his take on the numerous misinformation and disinformation campaigns within the Armenian community. Eric also spoke on the popular fears in Armenia and the buzzwords of Armenian politics. And finally, CivilNet visited Mesrop Tadevosyan, who was 18 when he began his mandatory military service. Mesrop was finishing nearly two months of training when the Second Karabakh War broke out. In the beginning of October, Mesrop's commander announced that he and his fellow servicemen were going to the north of Artsakh to a detachment called Yechnikner. Sivonet spoke to Mesrop to get a glimpse of his experience and to find out what happened to him during the war.